When we hear the word addiction, we usually associate it with a substance like alcohol or drugs. Yet pornography, even though not an ingestible substance, like cocaine, seems to be used by many people in a compulsive drug-like way. In fact, many pornography addicts exhibit the same symptoms as drug addicts such as tolerance, the need to have a harder and harder dose, dependence, becoming dependent on your drug of choice, and withdrawal, the feeling of physical pain when you are without the drug. All of these painful symptoms seem to promote out-of-control behavior as the addict tries to manage his addiction. But how can pornography, something that is not ingested in the body like a drug, be addictive? How can certain activities that do not involve a drug, like skydiving, eating, or sex, cause such a higher mood alteration? What we realized in the early 70s, when endorphins were just being discovered, was that the capability to get high lies naturally within all our brains. We now understand that non-drug-related activities or experiences can stimulate similar chemical reactions inside the brain that mimic the action of drugs. The key to understanding how all highs occur is understanding how natural chemicals in our brain work. These natural chemicals are called neurotransmitters. One of the more well-known neurotransmitters are endorphins. Neurotransmitters are produced inside the many billions of brain cells, stimulated by electrical impulses from the nucleus of their home cell. Neurotransmitters are released into the synapse. It is these natural chemicals that are responsible for all highs and mood alterations. Even when drugs are taken, it is still these natural chemicals that are responsible for the high. Drugs only create a situation for these neurochemicals to overstimulate. Activities or events can also stimulate the release of these neurochemicals. The excitement and danger of risk-taking cause the natural release of the neurotransmitter dopamine into the synapse, creating the same high as cocaine. The phrase adrenaline junkie is actually quite appropriate. The pain and stress involved in bodybuilding causes the natural release of neurotransmitters called endorphins, creating a sense of euphoria, and relaxation similar to the effects of morphine or heroin. The pornography experience also triggers the release of powerful mood-altering neurotransmitters. The elements of addiction that we've worked with over the past 20 years that compel people to repeatedly engage in compulsive pleasure-seeking activities are arousal, relaxation, and fantasy. Now, of all the tools for addiction, drugs, gambling, skydiving, and television, Sex addiction seems to combine these elements with more frequency and more intensity than any of the other activities. While looking at pornographic imagery, excitatory neurotransmitters are released into the synapse, causing the body to become extremely energized, just like the high of cocaine. It gave me a, like a, an adrenaline rush, like I was doing speed or something. It feels like this incredible charge of life flowing through my veins. It was like getting a rush in the arm of adrenaline. At the height of this energized state, orgasm occurs, causing the release of endorphins, which create relaxation and euphoria.